Cowboy True, I think, is important to the community because of the long-standing history in Wichita Falls of cattle raising. Um, Wichita Falls started out as a cattle town, and um, ranching is a huge part of our cultural history here. Cowboy True is a way to show people that are not connected to ranching these days that um, there is a lot of artistic and creative people in the ranching business. I don't think a lot of people in town realize that. They would just be amazed at how creative uh, these cowboys and cowgirls are. Cowboy True is the premier fundraiser for the Forum Building, and the funds go into the general operating account that keeps this building open. It's a 12,000 square foot building. It requires significant maintenance to uh, keep open every day, and Cowboy True funds are what make that possible. When the Arts Council took over management of the Forum Building, we wanted to do something that talked to that history of uh, cattle raising that was still present. I felt like Wichita Falls needed something to help keep the cowboy way alive alive. Uh, you know, this town which started farmers and ranchers and oil men, and we've always been a cowboy town. So I just, I wanted something that was different than anybody else had ever had, and I guess that's what inspired it. I think it's done a, a lot for the community. Uh, we're surprised at how many cowboy artists are here in this Wichita Falls or North Texas area. Uh, you know, along with the ranch cowboys, we've had a lot of world champion cowboys come out of this area. We want the whole experience from the food to the music to the art uh, to the uh, receptions to the bands afterwards, it, it's all a reflection of the ranching way of life. The first thing um, about what I do with the bits and spurs is function. It, they absolutely have to function. That's really the job. The, the I guess, artistic side of it kind of comes later. What I do is more for working cowboys uh, and cowgirls. Um, and that's really my clientele. I guess the biggest influence in me coming to the Cowboy True was my mother, actually. Uh, she's always been one of my biggest supporters in anything that I did, and she just pushed me for a couple of years um, to try to come in and, and apply myself to see if I would be able to do something like this. And so I just decided one year that I would just try to do it and see what what happened with it and uh, actually ended up uh, winning uh, one of the divisions, the bit divisions, the first year into it. My favorite part of Cowboy True is um, to be surrounded with all of the creativity that is there. Last year was my first year to be a part of it and um, the, the pottery, the silversmiths, the Leatherworks. It's just amazing uh, to see what's being produced. I applied uh, to Cowboy True because it was an opportunity to see uh, artwork from around the area uh, and also to, to be able to, to share things that I see. I began uh, shooting kind of the cowboy lifestyle because um, I live in Nocona and I travel a lot between Nocona and Wichita Falls, and I've just always loved uh, the West and, and what it represents to, to Texas and to my family. When I look at my artwork, what I would like my grandsons and uh, family to get from it is the love of the West, the, the love of the, our land, uh, and the, the people that have worked it and to know that that's a part of who they are. The branding wall, which is behind me, is a feature that we started last year. When Cowboy True first started, we offered uh, families who had long-standing brands or even new brands the opportunity to become lifetime brand members, which meant that their brand every year would go into our published catalog for the Cowboy True event. Uh, ranching families in this area then can bring their brands and display them on the wall, and it's gonna be a piece of history. It's also a piece of art, which this is an art show. You can come in and put your own brand on it, 
The money from that, of course, goes to the forum, but it'll be here forever. That brand never leaves. When I branded the wall, it was really meaningful because not only did I put my brand there that's been there for 30-something years, uh, my children have started their own places now and they branded the same night. So it was a really a family time for us.